Mosquito Indoor Playground Installation Guide Safety Net and Foam Tubes Installation The following tools need to be prepared in advance. The first is to install the safety net. Installation of safety net is divided into the following key steps. The first step is the rope cutting method. First divide the rope into three parts as a group. Then fold each part repeatedly. The length is about 1.2 meters. About the length of the arm spread. After folding, use scissors to cut from the middle. Cutting in such method is more efficient, and it is very helpful for the next binding. Hang the cut rope on your body. Prepare for the next step of installation. The second step is to understand the application of the slip knot. The slip knot is a very common way of knotting an installation. Wrap the rope in a circle. Take the belay out from the first circle. Go around a circle. Then thread the belay through the second loop. The slip knot is completed. The third step is to fix the approximate position of the mesh net. First fix the upper point with the buckle. Refix the side. The bottom is not fixed first. The fourth step is the winding of the mesh net. Start from the top. Wrapped around each square. Make sure each square is square. To be horizontally and vertically straight. Wrapped until the rope is not enough. Just take another tie rope and connect it. Then switch to the side. The same goes for the side. At the end of the winding, remember to fix it with a slip knot. The fifth step is to cut the mesh net. Pull the mesh net to the bottom. Need to leave one mesh. Then cut off the excess mesh net. Pay attention to cut out smoothly. Then fix the smoothly cut mesh net. The next step is to install the foam tube. Installation of foam tubes is divided into the following key steps. The first step is to cut the foam tube. Each foam tube has a cutting line. Align the position of the cutting line. Then the other three fingers next to the foam tube. Then cut smoothly along the line. Another situation is that there is a mesh net in the middle of the foam tube. Need to cut in half. Be careful when cutting in half. Just cut it as flat as possible. The second step is to understand the processing at the interface. Align the tubes first. Measure the position at the interface. Mark again. Then cut the foam tube into a semicircular arc. Did not be cut too large. Adjust bit by bit to fit the cut. That's how you can install the foam tube. The third step is to fix the cable tie. The cable tie needs to be fixed at the end and the interface, and then fix the cable tie every 20 centimeters or so. Then cut off the excess part of the cable tie. Then turn the cut part to the inside. The fourth step is to ensure the connection process. Care should be taken when wrapping the tube to the end. Measure the length before cutting. Take a knife and cut off the inner cotton at both ends. Cut apart inward at a 45 degree angle. Just install the foam tube. Then if the length of the foam tube is not enough, how to connect? First measure the length and mark it. Leave an extra distance of 5 10 cm. Then tear off the outer skin. Cut off excess inner cotton. Keep the PVC outer part. Install the tube again. We'll be able to connect well. The final step is the handling of the corners. First install the foam tube at the corner. Then at the corner position. Cut the foam tube at a 45 degree bevel on the upper and lower side. Then cut off the excess. Then place the cut position. Just make a closing. 